Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about Pascal triangle. So let me explain this concept with the help of a table over here. So in the first column let us write all the exponents of the binomial which is nothing but the index and in the second column let us write all the coefficients of the various terms in the expansion. And here according to the Pascal triangle each row of the coefficients is bounded on the both sides by 1. And any other coefficient in a row is the sum of two coefficients, one on the immediate left and other on the immediate right in the preceding row. So to explain this, let us consider here an triangle and the triangle is bounded by A and B. So the sum of A and B would be A plus B. So here, so we use this theory over here. Here in the previous row we have a triangle which is bounded by 1 and 1 and by adding 1 and 1 we get here 2. And similarly coming over to the next row, if we add 1 plus 2 we get here 3 and here by adding 2 plus 1 we get 3. And moving over to the next row, by adding 3 plus 1 we get 4 and here the sum of 3 plus 3 would be 6. And again here by adding 3 and 1 we get here 4. And coming over to the next row, if we add 1 and 4 we get 5 and here by adding 4 and 6 we get 10 and again by adding here 6 and 4 we get 10. And coming over to the last triangle, if we add 4 and 1, we get 5. So here in this Pascal triangle, we observe that each row begins and ends with 1. And the nth row, which is nothing but the first column, is nothing but n plus 1 for all n belongs to the positive integers. So this arrangement is called as a Pascal triangle. So this method was modified by Blasey Pascal. And this method is used to derive the coefficients of the binomial expansion. But this method was first originated by Pingala, a Hindu mathematician. So this was a basic introduction on Pascal Triangle. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.